Now that we've learned how to make these awesome presentations, let's take a minute and look at how we can publish this information in image and video format so that others can view this as well. On the screen, you can see I have the exercise file open, and there's a couple things we need to call out. We have a couple of storyboards, the ones we've been working on throughout this course. The first one shows how the screws are removed from the back of the nose cone, and the second one shows how the components are removed from the front of the model. We also have a couple snapshots, and I'm going to go ahead and close the browser here. If for any reason you turn off by mistake any of the user interface components, you can always go back to the View tab, select the drop-down under User Interface, and check the browser to turn it back on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so that we can see the snapshots, and we can look at how we can publish this information as raster images. To do this, we can go to the Presentation tab to the Publish panel and select Raster. Now within the dialog box, you'll see a number of settings that we can adjust. The first one is the scope. By default, we have all views set, and really what that means is all snapshots. If we were to close this window, select one of the snapshots, and then launch the raster command, you'll see that we have the ability to select all views or the selected view. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at all views. I'm gonna go ahead and set the image resolution to something pretty basic, 1024 by 768. You can set it to whatever you need. And then down at the bottom, we have the output options. We can pick a location of where we wanna save the files, and we can pick the format. I'm gonna go ahead and leave PNG. Now when we click OK, you'll see that Inventor jumps to the end of each of those snapshots and snaps an image. If I minimize Inventor, you can see that the images are clearly sitting on my desktop. If we return to Inventor, now we can look at how we can publish video of this as well. The video focuses more on the storyboards rather than the snapshots. If we select Publish Video from the toolbar, we get a very similar dialog box. It lets us select the scope, either all storyboards or the current one. We can pick the resolution and where we're going to export. I'm going to go ahead and select all storyboards because we've created two storyboards that tell a single story. They tell how to remove the screws out of the back of the nose cone and how to remove the nose cone completely. I'm going to go ahead and leave the resolution to the window size. I'm also going to leave the name and the output to the desktop, but I am going to change the file format. I'm going to select AVI. Now when we select OK, we're presented with a compression dialog box. For any video you're creating, you're going to want to find the compression that works best for you. I'm going to select the TechSmith screen capture codec, but you should test each to find the configuration that works best on your system. Once you select OK, you'll see Inventor start to work through the animation, including all the camera moves, all the tweaks, and any opacity and visibility settings as well. Now that the publishing is complete, it lets me know where I've saved the file, and I can select OK, and if we minimize Inventor, you can now see that I have a video here on the desktop. And in just a few minutes, we were able to create animations, tweaks, and trails to create an amazing presentation with just a little amount of effort. Hopefully you'll find that this comes in quite handy when you're trying to explain to others how your designs are being assembled or taken apart.